last night I was saying go with Donovan Mitchell in that 8K range and that I'd rather spend money there. And then it proved to work out pretty well because Steph Curry was really the only guy when you look at those guys above 8K that returned uh, you know, value. I know like, Nicole Jokic had higher output than both of them, but he was like at 11K in terms of price. Uh, and tonight I do want to stick in that 8K range as well. I think there are a few guys that you can pair up together. Uh, CP3, CJ McCollum, Anthony Edwards, any two of those three guys, you can put them together. Um, you could even rock with all three of them tonight if you kind of push the right buttons in terms of value. I know it's tough in the postseason to get those good value plays. Um, but with CP3, he's not points dependent. I know he had that 30 spot in game one, but that's why we've seen with him consistently. He's been putting out great numbers throughout the course of the season. And with McCollum and Edwards, they're both in situations where they have to score a lot. Obviously, with the Timberwolves, you know, they won that first game, but they want to keep their, their pedal on the, their foot on the pedal. Um, and with Edwards, like, this is one of the, these, with the guy who's going to lead that team most nights. I know that's, you know, Cat's going to do a lot of it too. Um, but I think you have two guys that are in position to score a lot and you can pair them up. And no matter what, when you do this, it's going to like allow you to get a piece of one to maybe two of those higher end mid range guys. Um, and then, you know, then you have a formidable lineup going into the night. All right, Waylon, what about you, man? Who are you going to drop some change on tonight? Yeah, I mean, Cat is the highest price player at 9,500, he looked good in game one. I think a lot of people were, were scared off by just how awful he looked in that play-in game. Uh, but a nice bounce back for Carl Anthony Towns, I think, to get some confidence back in game one. So I, I don't mind necessarily uh, paying up for him. I, I do think we probably see more Jaron Jackson, though, matched up with Carl Anthony Towns in this game. Uh, obviously, Jackson is, is a foul liability on any given night, but I was surprised, you know, how uh, conservative they were and, and how deep they ran that rotation in game one. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see Taylor Jenkins tighten things up a little bit uh, in what's close to a must win game two, it feels like uh, for the Memphis Grizzlies. But of the two, I mean, I like Edwards, like Nick said at 8,200. I think there's a ton to like there. I think he's going to be really popular tonight. Uh, and I'm comfortable paying up for one or both of Devin Booker at 8,800 or Chris Paul at 8,300. I think I would lean slightly toward Paul. I think Booker is probably uh, a little bit higher floor at this point, just because it feels like he's going to get his like 28, five and five. Uh, but as we saw with Chris Paul, like he could explode for 17 points in a quarter and also tack on 10 assists uh, any given night. So uh, 8,300, I think, for a guy with that kind of upside is a pretty good deal tonight.